All right, it's pretty windy outside. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon. Two movies, I'm pretty sure I've done most of the movies, except for tomorrow, actually a sneak peek of a movie I'm gonna see, but we saw Bones and All and the menu first. So I saw the menu first, so let's talk about that one. That was a pretty good movie. Um, it's one of those movies though, where it tries to be kind of clever with like, oh, all these rich people and everything like that, and the chef's doing all this stuff to the rich people, and I'm just thinking, like, at the point of, like, okay, I know for a fact actors do do this stuff in real life, but they're trying to, like, portray something else of, like, oh, but we're the good guys. And then something about the chef of, like, the motivation, if you want to put it that way, or just people backing him doing other stuff, and that's why he decided to do stuff. Like, some of them were pretty strong stories, and some of them are pretty weak. Overall, it was a pretty good film, pretty interesting and fun Uh so overall, it's a pretty interesting and fun film. And we'll go with Bones and Awe. Love Cannibal Story. It was okay. I think some good elements to it. I know there was a rumor that there was a three plus hour cut of this movie. This is the two hour and ten minute cut. I don't know how this movie could have been three hours long. No clue. It's a little draggy in some scenes. It's very different, unique. I did like how they put like the abbreviation of the states. So if you didn't know your geography, you were kind of fucked. But overall, an okay movie as well. I don't understand the the hype of it though, unfortunately. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what things Blue Futon Topia, you Blue Tonys. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Peace and love to every single one of you. And let's see what I'm seeing tomorrow.